Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election held in Nigeria on February 25, 2023. And uh, the result announced on March 1st, which produced Aswad Bola Mektinubu as the winner of the controversial election. And the result is being challenged in the courts. Because right now, most of Nigerians or majority of Nigerians believe that the actual winner of the election will be determined by the Supreme Court. But the man that is standing there now as the president, as what Bola Mechinubo, the decisions he has been taking is impacting the country. In fact, one of his decisions is now threatening the $13 billion Nigeria-Europe gas pipeline project. And uh, that is what we are going to look at so that we now we see how uh, President Bola Metinubu's poor handling or mishandling of the coup d'etat in the Nigerian Republic is going to continue to hurt Nigeria's economy in the short and long run. Because already the, there are consequences economically for the border closures, for the uh, cutting of electricity supply to Nigeria Republic. And uh, Nigeria will pay the price for it. And uh, that is one of the some of the things we are going to talk about in this uh, video. Okay, and I did say earlier on that uh, his mishandling of the coup d'état in Nigeria Republic uh, is going to continue to hurt this country, the economy, in the short and long run. And the situation was made worse by his decision to cut electricity supply. To Nigeria Republic and the threats to forcefully remove the military junta from power and restore democracy by force. Now, his request to uh, invade the Nigeria Republic was to the relief of most Nigerians, uh, turned down by the Nigerian Senate, uh, and, that, and that was largely because. The Northern, the Nigerian Senate is dominated by Northerners who share border with the Nigerian Republic and had uh, family ties with the people of the Nigerian Republic. So they oppose declaration of war against the Nigerian Republic. And also they made the sub notice to Aswad Bola Mektinubu that they have about seven states that shares boundary with Nigeria that will be impacted negatively and severely if war is declared against the Nigeria Republic. And uh, the fear is, was even heightened because already there are indications that any war between Nigeria or Nigeria leading it for ECOWAS and Nigeria Republic is going to eventually result to the, a proxy war between the West and Russia. And only God knows how it will end up for Nigeria. Now, while Nigerians were relieved that the Senate shut down the war, war mongering by the president, in France, they, are, they were they are obviously unhappy because they had expected Tinubu to fight their war for them. They expected Tinubu to help them to chase away the military junta since they cannot do it by themselves. And already they were, they were among the enemy number one as far as the military junta in Nigeria were concerned. Because they felt that France has done them 
a whole lot of harm that they, they severe ties with France so that they can regain their economic freedom. And to, to portray how they were putting pressure on Aswadibola Metinubu, uh, the Le Monde newspaper, one of the most influential newspapers in France, had reported that the credibility of Tinubu depends on what he does, what he does in the Niger Republic. So if, as far as the French was concerned, invasion of Niger is the only way Tinubu could prove his credibility. However, even though Tinubu did not get the authorization to invade Niger, but his sanctions against, against Niger had provoked retaliation from the Juntas or the, the junta, military junta leadership in the Niger Republic, who did not only severe ties with Nigeria, but are working hard with Russia to stop the Nigeria Europe gas pipeline, $13 billion Nigeria Europe gas pipeline that passed through Niger to Morocco, from where it will be uh, supplying gas from Nigeria to Europe. So that is a clear example of when a leader is in a hurry to impress foreign authorities without thinking it deep. Okay? That is, that's what you get. Now, this project, the 13 billion Nigeria Europe gas pipeline, which was one of the major projects that was discussed when the King of Morocco visited uh, former President uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari in Nigeria, was one of the core projects. And it was one of the projects that will, you know, re-energize our energy sector. Because right now, we have an abundance of gas that we are not selling to the world. So we needed to have a market like Europe. Because you know that for a very long time now, Europe depends on Russian gas. So this, this pipeline was an opportunity for Nigeria to compete with Russia in supplying gas to Europe. And Europe was looking forward and is still looking forward to an alternative to Russia. And Nigeria has abundance, billions cubic meters of, of uh, gas, which some of them were even flaring them instead of uh, turning them to good economic use. So, but what Tinubu has done has really affected this gas pipeline project. Now, this gas pipeline project has been a topic of discussion for a very long time. And they span about 5,600 kilometers and has the capacity to supply gas to 11 countries along the African coast. It was intended to reach Morocco and then integrate with the energy systems of Spain or Italy, from where the rest of Europe will be tapping into it and they will be paying for it. The project gained momentum after the Russia gas supply to the European Union were disrupted last year as a result of uh, last, last June, as a result of the war between uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia. Okay? Now, last June, during a meeting in Abuja, in Nigeria's capital, 
uh, energy ministers from Algeria, Nigeria, and Niger agree to expedite the development of the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline. Because it is believed that once it is operational, this pipeline could carry 30 billion cubic meters of gas exports annually from three countries to Europe. The concept of this Trans-Saharan pipeline was initially proposed in the 1970s, but saw a revival in 2002 when the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and Algeria's National Oil and Gas Company, Sonatrak, agreed and signed a memorandum of understanding to prepare for the project. Although a feasibility study completed in September 2006 confirmed the technical and economic viability of the pipeline, little progress was made until a new, uh, a new memorandum of understanding was signed in 2022, reigniting hope for its realization. Stretching across 4,128 kilometers. The pipeline will link Warren in Nigeria to the major Hassai uh, Remel gas hub in Algeria, passing through Niger, Niger Republic, with preliminary agreements in places under the previous regime, with pre preliminary agreements in place under the previous administration. That's the existing administration that have been uh, overthrown. However, the new authorities, that is the new junta, because of what Tinubu has done, they are no longer showing interest in this gas pipeline. They, have, they don't have interest in this gas pipeline. Because, again, the coup, not just because of the coup, but the way Tinubu mishandled the coup has become a power struggle between the East and the West. And that is hurting Nigeria and will continue to hurt Nigeria because of what Tinubu did. His rush to impose sanction, to threaten military action against the Nigerian Republic. Now, you know that Niger Republic now is now like under competition between the East and the West. The deposed president, Mohamed Banzoum, was pro-Europe. And he had close ties with France. Okay, so he, he supported France domination of buying of commodity from Niger Republic, especially commodities like uh, uranium, which is used to supply 90% of power in France. On the other hand, this new, new leader, uh, General Abdurrahman uh, Tikiani, former head of the presidential guard, he aligned himself with Russia and has already reduced exports of commodities to France. So the European Union, they are deeply involved in the dispute and they are striving to maintain its commercial connection with Niger, but it's becoming very difficult. And Europe was looking forward to this gas pipeline because it will help them to, to break away from dependency on their energy supply from Russia. But meanwhile, Russia has been actively promoting its relation with African leaders, offering them incentives such as free grains and discounted funding, nuclear power stations, among others. Now, it's, it has been uh, some analysts in a report that I saw, 
are saying that what the, the Nigerians are doing to Nigeria now by trying to block the 13 billion dollars gas uh, pipeline from their country to Europe has the strong backing of Russia. So what is what it means is this: Russia want to stop, want to Nigeria by its action, by the kind of action that has been taken by Nigerian leader, has now created opportunity for Russia to use its influence in Niger to block this project so that there will be no supply of energy. The gas pipeline will now be under hold. This is a very serious strategic move by Russia. But it is because Nigerian leaders or leadership played into the hand of Russia by being too quick to take a side by being too quick to condemn, by being too quick to threaten invasion. So this is something, and it's, it's a lesson that whenever we are, you are choosing your leader in any country, especially in Africa, be, make sure that you have leaders who are patriotic, who put the national interest uppermost and not leaders that Western powers can push around. Because it is obvious that Nigerian leadership was in a hurry. It, once they learned about the coup, they were, they were in a hurry to prove a point that they can restore democracy by fire, by force that Niger Republic is a small fry that they can handle. But now, see the kind of damage that this, his actions has caused the country. And the, despite this, the fact that many Nigerians are against the invasion, the threat to invade Niger Republic. The government itself, Tinubu himself, is still doubling down. They are still continuing with their sanctions against the Nigerian Republic. They are, they, uh, just recently, beside the imposition of uh, cutting of electricity, now uh, this, uh, the, 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 uh, the special advisor to the president, on, uh, on communication, uh, on media and communication, Ajuri Ngelali, he said that Tinubu has released more sanctions against Niger Republic. Now, this kind of attitude will even reinforce their determination to jeopardize that gas pipeline project from Niger to Europe. So it is really unfortunate uh, because this is a, a project that would, if it succeeds, as many expected it to do, because Europe is in dire demand of gas. And they are tired of the shakara, if you like, of Russia. They are looking for alternative sources. And Nigeria provides a viable alternative. It is something that will benefit Europe, benefit African countries that it pass through their countries, and benefit Nigeria mostly. But now that is in jeopardy because our, our leaders, especially the leadership now running the country, we are too quick. We are too quick to take a side instead of waiting to study the situation. And Nigeria is going to pay a huge price for that action. And instead of trying to uh, to try to cool the tension 
Nigerian government is still doubling down, squeezing uh, the Nigerians. Because right now they have imposed, Tinubu has imposed fresh sanctions against Niger. And he gave the directive to the Central Bank of Nigeria to squeeze them again monetarily. How that is going to help Nigeria or be able to force the junta out of power remain to be seen. But it was a strategic blunder to have threatened Niger with forceful removal of the military junta from power. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video, because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you, and God bless you and yours.